This is the opening screen for our Forwards with Science title for Key Stage 2 Age Group or Ability Range, and it runs on Textease. And that means that you need Textease on the computer in order to run this title. Forwards with Science is a collection of seven individual titles Electricity and Power, Forces and Motion, Green Plants as Organisms, Humans as Organisms, Living Things in Their Environment, Materials and Their Properties, and Light, Sound, and the Earth and Beyond. This is going to be a fairly short presentation for the full uh, collection, but you can access individual, both short and long, presentations on our website. If you click on there, the first screen of electricity and power. Click on there, and that gives you a little bit of information, including what the buttons on the different screens do. If we close that and that, and click on that one, that opens a screen on simple circuits and click on there, that'll open another activity which is related to that. If we click on there, that opens the first uh, page or the first screen in the title, Electricity is Dangerous. That gives us an opportunity to talk about the taskbar. The taskbar is movable, the screen will scroll down so you can add further information to the page. The arrows predictably take you back and forth. That is the menu button to access the full menu. You can click on any of the hotspots to access an individual uh, screen. That is the task button telling you what to do. That is the support button. That is the research button. That is the resource button with either uh, sentences as here or beginnings and endings of sentences or images or all of those on it. That is the home button and uh, if we click on that button, that will give us a totally open-ended activity, but using the same buttons as before. That will take you onto another activity, a related activity, and likewise there, living without electricity. These are text boxes allowing the children to write what they want to write freely or to use the information in the resource button. I'll show you one or two of the screens now. Everyday electric devices. This is a mind activity. I've used this in all of the programs, in fact. Um, some of the letters of the alphabet, that'll tell them what to do. And the idea is to think of everyday electric devices beginning with these individual letters. More information about that on the full presentation. Here we are. Uh, this is an example of an if-then because activity. If the bulb is broken, then this happens because of that. And that will show you just a few of the screens here, circuit diagrams, circuit drawings, and so on. And if we're coming out of there, I'll show you this one, uh, circuit boards, um, show you that one completing a circuit board, and that will suggest what to do, build a circuit with one battery and one bulb. The children are not sure what to do, so you can click on that, then go on to the next task and click on that, and so on. And that carries on uh, if we get rid of that. And if we access that. Now here are the bits and pieces that they're going to need in order to do this and remember this is a, a mind activity. This it doesn't light up or anything like that. It's purely a mind activity and then obviously they can design their circuits and then they can go ahead in the laboratory and try and see if it works. Uh, if we come out of there let's go to the energy section. We've got a lot of different ones including solar energy. We'll go back here and if we take that one, hydroelectricity, or indeed pump storage hydroelectricity, and I'll show you one or two things here. What you've got there is a text box, and what you've got here is beginnings and endings of sentences. Electricity is used to pump water back to the upper lake. Um, click on any of these. And if we go on to here, uh, here is a mind activity again, once again. What the children have to do there is to put the... Uh, numbers in the correct places, that's a good place to start, heavy rainfall with uh, hydroelectricity, and there another connected activity. If we go out of there then that's electricity and power, a brief um, review of that, and here forwards with uh, forces of motion rather, we've got a magnetism, we've got a gravity and so on. If we take, uh, if we go to here and we go to this one, effect of forces upon movement, we can click on that van, and that's fun. We can count or use the stop clock to find out how long it takes to go from here to there. We can measure the length of the road, the time, we can work the averages out and so on and go on to um, complete that activity. Here designing a new car, here um, a word activity, effective forces on movement and they've got a word bank there with more information. If we go um, 
let's say we go to well back to the opening screen because this is suitable for the younger children and here the idea here is that they they label there's the task there for them and they can add the arrows to the screen for instance they could use that one for closing the door or that one for opening the door and so on or they can access more information there and add more diagrams to the screen and that of course is particularly useful if they go on to the, that screen there and that gives them more information to add on to that. Um, if we go from there and uh, we go to this one here, green plants as organisms, here we are, what they have to do there is put the, the um, parts in the correct places and what they can do there is click on that. They get more information about what the different parts do. As you can see, we've got other associated activities, including a Venn diagram there. Here we can go to this one. There's a nice one on the um, whiteboard. The antler makes the pollen. And once again, the children are able to check their answers there and work independently. Flower parts, what the flower parts do, and a few different things there. And if we go to this one now, we could say, um, let's go to um, there. And here is an interesting one for the older pupils. Farming and the environment, they can complete that. The, these are text boxes. They can go into here and there, in fact, that one and that one. They can use the word bank that's available to them there. They can look at the research button. And there's a lot of information here for them, using fertilizers, using pesticides, the, the um, advantages and disadvantages of each one, herbicides or weed killers, destroying hedges, crop rotation, organic farming, and so on that they have there. If we go out of there, green plants as organisms, and we go to humans as organisms, and we've got straight into that one, a baby in the womb, a baby about to be born. And there, what is a baby thinking? What is a mother thinking? And if you go to this one, information on the heart, what the heart does, how blood passes through the heart, the heart is a pump, understanding blood, how exercise affects the heart and being able to graph that. And lots of different ones we could go to, but should we say we go to this one here, an open-ended one, on uh, how humans affect the environment and back to there again and once again totally open-ended we can add um, we can put a human in the middle there to show that it's all because of the human we could put more than one and of course we've got different things like um, sewage and um, we could have um, air pollution we could have lots of different things we can have there and we can go on to here the greenhouse effect and thinking about our carbon footprint. I've gone from one to the other. Greenhouse effect and thinking about our carbon footprint. And that's uh, humans as organisms. If we go to living things in their environment, um, we could go to um, any one of these, but let's take the first one, life processes, and of course associated screens there. Um, life process terms, Importance of light, food chains, and a more difficult one on food chains, lots of animals and plants to choose from there, and lots of different things, feeding relationships, number pyramids, and so on. We could go to that one, microorganisms, uh, creating placards, um, useful and harmful microorganisms. We could go to that one, a sampling activity, accounting plants, and being able to graph the number of plants, uh, either doing it from there or out in the field. And we can go to this one, living things in their environment, biodiversity of habitats, adapting to the habitat. We've got more descriptions attached to there and we've got more um, animals and plants there. So that is living things in their environment. If we go out of there to materials and their properties quite quickly, we could do that one. We can do uh, complete the diagram. We can go into there and find out what happens at the different stages. We can go out of there and we can choose maybe this one um, a fairly simple activity but um, quite a lot of um, meat to it if you like lots of different uh, materials and their properties and the different diagrams for grouping the materials and uh, we could go to that one separating materials I, I think the answer is that one can I check yes I can and I can find out a little bit more about sieving and so that is materials and their properties and finally to uh, light, sound on the earth and beyond. So we've got lots of different things here. Should we start with um, that, thinking about light, and we can go through there, producing reflecting light, shadows, behavior of light, and that with a card with a slot in it, and that with a mirror. And then we could go to that one, should we say how the eyes respond to light, seeing parts of the eye, um, hearing things, and so on. We can go to that one 
on sound waves. We could go to that one, day and night, or the time of day in different parts of the world. We could go to that one, sun, earth and the moon and beyond. We could go to here and the planets. And we could go to here, the temperature in different planets. And we could go to here, um, which planet, that one there that I've gone past, um, cards there. I could go to that one, for instance, Astronomers in Dilemma. And that was a news article in 2006. Uh, this incidentally, the, this uh, um, title was created in 2012. And so that's a little bit about the um, light sound and the earth and beyond and also the forwards with science for you. More information on our website, further presentations for the individual titles on our website.